The story of black people in Argentina is complex, shaped by historical erasure, demographic shifts, and cultural assimilation. During the 18th and early 19th centuries Argentina had a significant black population, primarily due to the transatlantic slave trade. Enslaved Africans were brought to Buenos Aires and other parts of the country to work in agriculture, domestic labor, and other industries. By the early 19th century, Buenos Aires had a substantial black community, accounting for around 30% of the population. However, over time, the black population in Argentina became nearly invisible for several reasons. Wars and disease. Many black men were recruited to fight in Argentina's wars of independence, 1810 to 1818, the Paraguayan War, 1864 to 1870, and other conflicts, where they were often placed on the front lines and suffered disproportionately high casualties. Additionally, disease outbreaks, including cholera and yellow fever, ravaged urban areas where many black people lived. These diseases took a heavy toll on the black population. Racial mixing and assimilation policies. Throughout the 19th century, the Argentine government actively promoted European immigration, encouraging millions of Europeans, especially from Italy and Spain, to settle in the country. This influx of Europeans contributed to racial mixing, mestizaje, which led to the gradual dilution of distinct black communities through intermarriage. The government also encouraged assimilation into the broader Argentine identity, which downplayed African heritage in favor of a European-based national identity. Cultural erasure and rewriting of history. By the early 20th century, the presence of black people in Argentina was often downplayed or ignored in national narratives. Census data from the period either excluded or minimized the count of Afro-Argentines, contributing to the perception that black people had disappeared. In reality, many Afro-Argentines had been absorbed into the general population, and their contributions were often erased from history books. Despite this erasure, Afro-Argentine culture and influence persisted, especially in areas like music and dance. For example, the Candombe dance, a style with African roots, played a role in shaping Argentine music, particularly in the development of the tango, though the African contribution is often under-recognized. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Argentina's African heritage, Afro-Argentine activists and scholars have worked to recover and celebrate the contributions of black people to Argentina's history and culture, challenging the myth of a purely European Argentina. Thank you for watching Topics on Trend. Go ahead and check out another trending video on our channel here.